guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to all regular subscribers and welcome to any new people that have not yet subscribed today we're gonna restore an old dinky observational coach it's a bit grubby grotty there's not much damage to it to be fair the unknocks here and there and dinks and what you'd expect from all them years of play. It's not much to this vehicle, it's just the um, just the cast of the body and the the chassis. There's no interior and no windows. Well there's windows but there's no transparent. So yeah, let's um let's have a proper look at it. So as I said before, there's, there's not much damage to this really. Wheels are in good order. Just get the base off and see what you've got. And prize that out there. It's a little bit twisted at the top there. I'll have to um, dig the pliers out in a second and straighten that. But I'm gonna leave the, the base alone actually. Leave that patina the way it is. Show a bit of age of the vehicle. Because it's, it's not in bad condition to be honest. So I like to leave them when I can. Excuse me. So anyway, let's um let's get into it. Have a rummage round. Get the pliers out and the files and what have you. I need to be a bit more organised to be honest. Just address these little um little bits and bobs that we've missing to sorry we missed when it was cast. It's because the flashing and Stuff like that, little bits and bobs around the windows and wheel arches and what have you. Might as well get them off. Let's have a look at this base. Sort this little um, little flange out. It's not that badly damaged, it's just a little twist in it. But while it's off, I might as well address it. <clears throat> there you go. So let's get it um, into the stripper, get the paint off. If you are using caustic soda though, people like, not like me, use some gloves. I did put them on eventually, but I forgot to put them on at the beginning of this, so. If you're gonna use caustic soda, stay safe. in with the caustic shouldn't take too long with this um this old paint notice with these older models that the paint comes off pretty quick so as you can see it's already doing its job and it's gonna start coming off pretty easy so it shouldn't be near too long Off 
really nice. Just try and wedge it in here a little bit, just seeing some filming with, with like the camera and trying to do this at the same time. It's a little bit awkward. So here we go, all the paint's gone, rinsed all the caustic soda away. So I'm just going to give it a little rinse off now, get rid of all the nasties and whatnot. Oh, a little bit of paint there. I think it's just a little clinger though, to be fair. Yeah. That'll come off in a second then, with the wire wool. So, I'm going to hit this with um, some warm soapy water and some wire wool and then I'll get back to you. So there you are, it's come up pretty decent. A little bit of elbow grease, warm water, washing up liquid. And she's come up quite nice, so just dry it off. Get all the uh, the rubbish from inside. Dry it all off and then I'll show you what you've got. So there she is. She come up quite quite well actually. Very pleased. The only thing that's bothered me though is them horrible bloody cast markings that are left. The one that's running across the top of the roof there. Around the windows, just a little bit of attention needs. Needs filing here, there and everywhere. But the detail's decent on this little model though. Yeah. I don't like that line. I've got to have to get rid of that, because that's going to bug me. It's going to bug me. Yeah. A little bit of dinks hidden here on the roof. Not too bad though, to be honest. Could be worse, I suppose. So, let's get the file on it. Get rid of them nasties.
just take them scuffs off the front there. Not too bad though, just a quick file, they should be um, dealt with. off camera. I'll be back in a second. So here she is all sanded down. It's come up pretty decent actually. I'm quite pleased. <clears throat> you can still see a few little minor scratches and pitting in the roof but to be fair the primer should clear that up i've tried my best but if i keep going it, it's, it's a casting thing it's really embedded some of them pittings so there's nothing i can do about it to be fair but you won't even notice them to be honest so let's get some primer on it so she's all primed up chance to use the new airbrush this will be the first time I've used it so cautiously spraying with the new airbrush so I'm just gonna lay a, a really thin tacky coat on build the paint up slowly let's take me time basically I'll show you like the first pass and then I'll skip through to the reveal It's going to take a while getting used to the first time I've ever airbrushed, so I was very cautious. I had to mix up the paint to get match the colour, and that was a bit of a job and a half, to be fair. I used um, Vallejo airbrush paints. I'm not too sure the real names, but to get to the colour I needed, I had to use yellow, blue, white, and a tiny drop of red, believe it or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, just laying down the paint really thin. Worried about getting any runs and splattering after all the hard work of sanding. So I thought, just take me time with the paint. It'll turn out in the end, you know, so just take your time. So yeah, just, just for future reference as well guys, if there's any vehicles that you'd like to see done, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to try and bring that to the channel for you. I've got a good few cars on stock to do, so there's a few more videos up, upcoming. I'm just waiting on a few bits and bobs to be delivered, but it's a bit crazy at the minute. So as and when they arrive, I can crack on with the rest of them. So. 
let's have the review. This is what she looked like before, all grotty and pitted. Horrible lines everywhere. Play worn. Looking a little bit tired. So, a little bit of loving, and this is what she looks like now. I decided to just keep it plain, to be fair. So, I've done the wheels red and I kept the body to the original, well, best to the original colours I could get it. Put a little bit of detail on the front, indicators and door handles around the side and the back. And yeah, it's turned out nice, I like it. It's brought some life back into this old one. So, if you like this guys, please leave a like and subscribe if you've not already. Hit the bell icon to be notified of future content. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.